I was asked on YouTube um, uh, how exactly I'd made my um, homemade humidifier, so I thought I'd throw together a video just showing you guys exactly what I've done. Um, it works exceptionally well. I have a hydro fogger as well, but um, the ultrasonic humidifier it humidifies in, in a different way, and it actually pumps out a considerable amount more of, um, of humidity out of it. The only problem is I'm pretty sure its reliability isn't going to be anywhere near as good as the purpose-built hydro fogger here. But um, I'll, I'll take you through it anyway and I'll um, just show you exactly how I've made it. Obviously uh, you can see it here, it's got four parts really to it. It's got the case and the plastics, it's got the fan, so the plastics, it's got the fan, it's got the ultrasonic uh, humidifier inside and it's got the inkbird controller. So I'll take you through each one. Obviously the body of it is just a plastic, um, like a plastic sort of storage box which I purchased from um, the local hardware store. Now it's actually good because it's, it's got a flat, dead flat surface and it's got this little indent here um, which I'll t talk about and soon why that's good. Um, attached is, is some Mali downpiping. Um, this is just locally made it's a company in New Zealand, make this down piping and I've got a little adapter here which you can get which fits nicely on top so you just cut a hole, put that on I actually use two different types of glue this is in like an HDPE plastic I think it's an HDP or an LDPE, a low density or high density polypropylene I think and because of that its surface energy is real low so it's hard to find glue that actually sticks to it so I used like a silicon glue which didn't work and then I used a, a chemical cement which is used for this which didn't work so I've ended up um, putting these screws in which hold that in place um, and then I've got this obviously long piece on top and the reason why this is so long is that the mister on the inside actually splashes quite a bit and what it was doing is it was, it was this used to be just short it was just this piece here straight on the end and it was actually splashing heaps out and making a giant puddle on the floor here so I raised that up a bit and and what that's done is stop the splashing it does water does condensate on the tube and it comes down and it drips out the bottom here you can actually see where it started to come out and that's all right because it's got this lip here which holds it on the middle and that generally runs back to the back corner over here where it just drips back in so that's the box in and uh and oh there's one other thing in here which is sort of part of the box build is the um so this is the inside is the um the little float valve here. Now this is just a float valve bought from a local hydroponics store. Obviously really tiny. When you push it down, you can see it just squirts some more water in. Um, that's just plumbed up to a, a pipe here. Let's get that in focus. So that's just plumbed up to a pipe, which then just goes out the door. Um, this pipe here, I can just take off this and put onto that there as well. Um, so that keeps the water level perfect. You want the water level sort of as high as this little thing here um, Which we'll talk about in a minute, but that plumbing there comes out comes out the door Runs up here and terminates into into the side of this here and um, Up to a, a switch here, so that's just the water shut off so I can turn the water off and on and I've actually plumbed that into my garage so that goes back to sort of like a tap on the wall. So, so that's all the plastics involved. The next part is the ultrasonic mister, which is this big device in the bottom. Um, that does the trick quite nicely. Um, it's bought from Amazon on China. So I don't know how reliable it is, to be honest, but um, it really hammers out the steam. Um, to be honest, even if I can get six months use out of it, I'd be pretty happy. Um, I might have to buy another replacement part. But that connects that connects through this wire here, out the wall. And it runs up until its power supply, which is right here. So that's like a 200 watt power supply or something, it's quite grunty. Um, so that, that powers that, that then runs down into the inkbird controller here which is on an American plug, that's why I've got all these adapters on it because we use the Kiwi plugs like this here. Um, so that runs into the Inkbird controller and out of the Inkbird controller has my, so that goes to the mister and then this other one runs down to the fan on top. 
So that is an IP68 fan that's purchased from I believe DigiKey. Um, it's IP68 so you can actually completely submerge it and I wanted that uh, just because it's in such a humid environment. There's water pooling everywhere, there's water splashing up from the bottom. Um, so it needs to really have that good water ingress protection. That turns on the same time as as the uh, mister down there. Yeah, I'll have a look at the branding. So that's the brand there, EM Pabst. That's just a 12 volt fan and I believe it's 6 watts. So it's very, very small. It's not. It's just enough to push a nice sort of flow of air through here. And I've just attached that on with some little grub screws. These actually I got out of a computer case. The computer cases have them because these obviously like computer type fans, and they just hold them nicely into a case, so they just go straight in through this plastic. Work to treat. So that's all the parts to it. We'll run it on now and give you a demo. So we just need to untangle the plugs. So that's on. And you can see now, everything's running. It's really hammering its, its humidity out. Now you can't ask for much more humidity than that to be honest. If we take that off, Oh, you'll see the water at the bottom here will start running out as it flows up here it condensates and drips back down and drips out the bottom if we take that off you can really see um, uh, how much humidity comes out of that obviously that fans blind air in and there it is when you open it so it won't take long for that there to completely fill this room with humidity so it looks like a cloud. And there we have it, it is a homemade humidifier.